It's Lori at LoriStory.com. Thanks for joining me for another Cricut Quick Tip. In this video we will be looking at uploading JPEG, PNG, or basic clip art with the basic upload option in the Cricut Design Space 2.0. Let's get started. Before we go any further I want to show you the difference between a JPEG file and a PNG file and why a PNG file works best in Design Space. We're looking at two files here. One is a PNG and one is a JPEG file. They look very similar, and that's because they're laying on white paper. But what if we put black paper behind them? Now you can see the difference. This is a JPEG file. It has a white background. This is a PNG file, and it has no background. If we pull this over on top, you can see there's nothing behind the letters in this instance. What this means to design space, when you bring a JPEG file with a white background around it, you see this bounding box? That's the same thing Design Space is going to see as the edge of the file. You can use this file in Design Space, but you're going to have to clean up the background. You're going to have to take that background away, and I'll show you how to do that. When you upload a PNG file in Design Space, it sees the edge of each letter in this case because there is no background. Okay, let's get into Design Space, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. We're going to create new project. We're going to go on Upload Images. We will be doing a basic upload. If you forget, it tells you right here if you're dealing with a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, or a BMP file, you will use Basic Upload. So we'll click on Upload Image, Browse. I'm going to first show you the JPEG file. We'll click on it, click Choose. We have three options here, Simple Image, moderately complex image, and complex image. This is a pretty simple image. It's just two colors. It's a not got a lot of detail. So I'm just going to click on simple image. And then we'll click continue. Now you can see if we click on preview, this will show us the cut lines that Design Space has already determined are the edges of this image. And as I explained in the video earlier, it's looking at that white edge. Well, we don't want that, we want the bird. So let's click off of preview. Let's go to select and erase. And let's click on the white around the bird. And when you see that checkered background, that tells you that that is now transparent, which is what we want. Let's look on preview again. And that's exactly the outline of the bird that we want. So let's hit continue. In this window, you see the red outline is the cut lines. We have the option to name our image. We can name it bird. We have the option to tag it. I do recommend tagging your images. It makes it much easier to find them down the road. So I'm just going to tag this with bird, bluebird, animals. You can add whatever tags you like. Down here we have preserve original image within shape recommended for print and cut images. This box, when it is checked, it's going to bring this image in with the color and it's going to bring in the image with this cut line around the edges. However, when you check this box, it's going to bring the image in as if you're going to print it, then cut it. If you just want to put some cardstock on your mat and you just want to cut the outline of this image, you want to uncheck that box. So let's uncheck it. And now this is all that Design Space is going to bring in. So let's hit Save. Click on it. Insert image. And here is our JPEG file. Now again, Design Space didn't bring in the color of the bird or any, if there were any details on this bird, say there was a wing or something, it's not going to bring in any of that because we unchecked Preserve Image button. When you uncheck Preserve Image button and bring your image in, it's going to come in as a cut file. Now, let's go grab the PNG file. Upload Image, Basic Upload, Browse, grab the PNG file, choose, 
And you can see this comes in and it's already got the checkered background around it. We don't have to clean this up. But let's choose simple image and continue. And you can see again the checkered background, which means there is no background, but let's double check it in the preview. There's our cut line. Looks great. Let's hit continue. And again, we can name it, we can tag it. And this time I'm going to leave the box checked and show you the difference. Let's hit save. You can see the difference already. The bird is blue. Let's insert image. And now you can see the image that we brought in, leaving the preserve image box checked, came in as a print file. It also brought in the color. So if I were to hit go, it's going to print this one, but it's just going to cut this one. Let's hit go. And you can see this one's coming in as a print and cut image. This one's just coming in as a cut image. You can see the scissors here for cut. You see the printer icon for print. Let's go back to our mat. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you. What if you bring in an image and you forget to uncheck that preserve image box and it comes in as a printed image and you really want to just cut the image? This is how you can change it from a printed image to a cut image. You're going to click on the image. You're going to click over here in the layers panel on the image icon. You're going to check this fill with solid color. You can choose any color you want. And then you can change it to cut. And now that printed image is a cut image. I hope this video helped you understand the upload images, basic uploads, the difference between JPEG and PNG files, and the purpose of the preserve image box when you upload an image. I've created a cheat sheet for you. You can download it in the video description right below this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Bye.